morning everyone. I can't believe that uh, we're mid-November and I'm telling you here in Ontario, Canada, the weather the last week has been unbelievable. Last week at this time it was snowing but today it's a beautiful day. You can hear somebody in the background doing some gardening you know blowing the leaves and it's a gorgeous day so I'm outside again I can't believe it so um, wondering how your week has been I I must admit this week hasn't been the best for me there's been so many hurdles and disappointments and anxieties that overwhelm me time and time again because you know what we're in a human world we're in a sinful world. We're in a world where people, uh, we just get overwhelmed by the cares of life. And uh, if we, we're not careful, we get swallowed up by all the, the cares that go on in this world. So, but I reminded that last week we talked about uh, that verse in uh, Psalm 91 12 about God commanding he's all authority he commanded angels to watch over me he commands angels to watch over the people that have put their faith and trust in God he's done that it's simple to put your faith in God you know just to admit that we can't uh, live this world without him that we need to put him first in our life, that we have to ask him to come into our life. And then he commands angelic angels to watch over me. What a promise. But I know when we claim these verses, the enemy can't stand it. And he sends all kinds of things in our life to trick us, to uh, getting our eyes off of God, off of his promises. And we have to shake ourselves and uh, just stand firm. Stand firm to put our trust in him for one day at a time. We never know what's going to happen in a day. I know my son, one of my sons yesterday woke up to uh, a calamity in his house. Uh, his uh, drain uh, was plugged and it ricocheted into uh, more than he thought. But he didn't wake up yesterday morning expecting that. We never know what we are going to walk into. But we can know that um, God goes ahead of us. So today... I want to this is for you and me me too and we're going to Psalm 91 we're still in Psalm 91 and we're going to verse 13 you ready for this God says you will tread upon the lion and the cobra you will trample the great lion and serpent God has given us authority to trample those things that come into our lives I don't live in Africa there's no lions around here there's no snakes but there's lions in my life that come up when I least expect it. And some lions are fierce. Some lions are uh, ready to rip us apart. And I think sometimes uh, the lions that might come into our life is uh, instant and horrible. Maybe bad news from a doctor. Uh, maybe um, a car accident maybe uh, loss a job these are lions that can swallow us up but God says that he gives us the authority the authority 
to not let these things overtake us, that we are to trust him one day at a time. There are some lions that sneak up on us slowly, like sneak up on us like um, doubts and, and fears, and they sneak up on us when we least expect it, like maybe um, something goes wrong in our marriage. Maybe we don't feel like we're loved. Maybe we feel like we're rejected and and maybe somebody has said something to offend us and this is a quiet lion that uh, can overtake us and swallow us up. But God says that he gives us this authority to um, just not listen to the enemy the authority to say lord i don't know what's going on but you can protect me would you give me that authority then there's cobras then there's snakes that slither into our heads uh, i guess this is where right now the enemy seems to slither into my brain uh, making me anxious about tomorrow worrying about things that haven't even happened um, uh, an overwhelmness of my imagination that we have no right to go into these are uh, our minds uh, just get so full of stuff of second guessing what will happen i i worry about christmas i think oh no what are we going to do but I'm thinking too far in the future. We need to focus on today. We need to trample those things that overwhelm us. Um, the amount of work that you have to face today. How am I going to accomplish what uh, I should do? I want to do the right things. And um, God gives, tells us that we have authority to reject and trample these thoughts. It is something that we choose to do. It doesn't come naturally. Even in Gethsemane, God said that Jesus prayed all night. He prayed all night. All authority. He could have called 10,000 angels. He gave them authority to pray all night to protect them for the next day. And God gave him that authority. When we are in Christ, when we trust him as our Lord, our God, our Savior, he does give us that authority. He gives us angels to watch over us, and he gives us that authority to trample the lions, great and small, the culverts and their sneaky devices to make us fret and not to cast all our cares on him. There's a peace in that. When I read God's word, when I pray, when I fold up in a corner and just call out the name Jesus, help me, help me, he steps in. He allows me and helps me to trample in authority those things that God said cannot hurt me, cannot overpower me, can't grip me, can't pull me away from him. God's plan for me is perfect. But we, we need to walk in that authority. We have to claim it. I don't know what lions you're facing today. I, I have no idea. I don't even know what's in store for me for the rest of the day. I don't know, but I always pray that God would take authority over the day and allow me to think in his ways and in his will to do what he wants me to do. Here in Canada, we're coming up to Remembrance Day and we're remembering the soldiers that lost their lives for our freedom to allow us to live in Canada, the land of the free. And um, 
We're thankful for these men that gave up their lives. I worked with many veterans that survived the war and to hear the grief and the sorrow that they went through. So we remember and we acknowledge them. But you know what? In Christ, we have to remember of how God has blessed us through this past week. Even though there's been hurdles, I've seen God's hand. I've, I, I, I've prayed for a healing of somebody that had a very significant doctor's appointment and there was healing. Um, I pray for people that are overwhelmed with um, illness and I've heard good reports of answers to prayer of how God's walked with them. I've heard good reports of people that have had bad uh, times with relationships and how God stepped in and healed those disagreements. Um, that's God and I must remember and I must praise him. We, don't, we so often don't thank him for what he's doing. I have a friend and her sister is uh, dying. She, she probably by the end of the day is going to be in the presence of God. And uh, grief is horrible. Grief is terrible. Even as believers, when we let go of loved ones. But what a promise that um, God is going to usher this woman into his presence because she's put her trust and faith in him. So God is at work. He's alive. He's Yahweh. There's nothing that is impossible for him. He just asks us to cling to his promises, cling to the authority that he's given to us to reign over these things that so instantly and sneakily come into our lives. Claim this for you today, whatever you're going through. May God bless you. May God allow you to go into his word, that you would study his word, apply his word. He's there. He's waiting. He's not going to shove his presence and say you must you must he he persuades us to put our trust and faith in him because he is everlasting he is god of all he gave you breath to listen to me today he gave me breath to talk to you today may you may you claim him today in jesus name god bless you God our Father, you are an amazing God. You are always here waiting. Thank you for who we are in you. I give my life to you, whatever you want this day, expecting that it's for your glory, for your good. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless.